We all interact with AI assistants in a kind of robotic manner or the very demanding manner. It's like, um, hey Bixby or hey whatever, what's the weather right now? My name is Bob Lien. I'm the director of strategy for Neon. So Neon is an artificial human platform. We make artificial humans. Artificial humans are computationally generated virtual beings, meaning that they are digital and they live and exist in the virtual realm. Unlike us, they don't have a physical embodiment, but they can be like us. They have their own expressions, their own smiles, their own personalities even. Um, and we're trying to make them as human-like as possible. Neons are modeled after real people, just the way that AI assistants that you guys all use are modeled after the voices of real people. That's the best way to make them as real as possible. But after they're modeled, each neon and every single frame and sequence are originally generated. Every facial expression you see, every single pixel on her or his face, are completely original and we generate them in real time, frame by frame. We all interact with AI assistants in a kind of robotic manner or the very demanding manner. It's like, um, hey Bixby or hey whatever, what's the weather right now? Or remind me at six o'clock to wake up in the morning. It's always these demands and the way we interact with these technology is not very humane, not very personable. And we believe that by putting a face, a real face and a real person in the way we interact with technology, can make that interaction more intuitive, more personable, more customizable, and just more beautiful because the human-to-human -human interaction is always the best form of interaction. So these neons can be used in various types of use cases. We envision them maybe one day to be a bank teller, to be a financial advisor. Maybe at the airport when you check in, you can interact with one. Um, or maybe you're at the coffee shop and you want to order a coffee, one of these neons can interact with you. And we can personalize them to domain-specific areas. So to the bank or financial institution, they can provide knowledge behind it and can create a neon for them or in the in coffee shops, etc. So they're personalized to the specific industry. So neons are driven by our technology platform called Core R3. R3 stands for reality, real time, and responsive. What that means is that we are able to create a 100% real digital human being that exists in the virtual world. You can't tell the difference between them and an actual human person. In real time means that every single frame, every single instance of what you're seeing is generated by a computer or by our algorithm in the back end. So you may have seen some very realistic um, characters in movies or in games, but those are not done in real time. Those take maybe a couple years to render, maybe hundreds of digital artists to create, but we can create them in real time. And the last R stands for responsive, meaning we're creating these to respond with humans, to interact with each other, bring lifelike realities to realities, essentially. So far, we've been really focused on developing the technology. And we came here to CES to really showcase and preview what we've done so far and the vision that we have moving forward. I think in most of 2020, we will focus on partnership, um, finding potential partners that would like to prototype one of these neons in one of their industries or in one of their use cases, and go from there to see you know, the best scenarios or the best use cases where these neons can be used. So 2020 will be more about finding those partners and those people that would love to work together with us to make neons a part of our daily lives. So Neon is a venture of Star Labs, and Star Labs is an independent entity of Samsung. So we operate completely independently. We don't use the Samsung logo anywhere around our booth. That allows us to go and create this business model and this vision without having to be incorporated into the Samsung ecosystem. We just are really excited to showcase and to show the world what we've done. We, uh, we welcome feedback and suggestions and we would love to hear from people where they would love to find the neon in their lives.